The latest version of Blender comes with a host of improvements to the EV rendering engine and the new Nebula Generator add-on has been updated to take advantage of them along with a set of other new features we hope you'll find useful. New and existing users should update their latest control panel add-on for Blender 4.2 and above and make sure they have downloaded the latest Nebula 3D files. Opening the older Nebula Generator files in the latest Blender will result in quite a dark, uneventful Nebula, so make sure you have the latest files from Blender Market or Gumroad. The older files are still available and are named as Legacy in the download section, but will not work in newer versions of Blender. The first improvement you'll notice is that, instead of spheres, the stars are now simple, flat, billboard objects that will always face the camera, which is a game engine technique aimed at improving performance. This means you can have more stars in your nebula if needed, and can also now pick different types of stars by swapping out the base star image. We have included a small set of example stars in the default file, which can be changed in the main panel. If you wish to add new stars, Tick the large sun collection in the outliner, select the large star object and go to the material shader. You can add a new image texture node and link it into the material. Remember to untick the large sun collection again when you're finished to hide the base object from your scene. The next thing you might notice is that the nebula is no longer inside a box but in a slightly distorted sphere which adds more realism to the outside of the nebula. You can control the transparency falloff of the nebula on the latest control panel, or use the Object Distortion tab to change the shape of the distorted object that the nebula is contained in. We have also introduced simpler colour controls. Now, only one colour ramp controls the overall colour of the nebula. The most dense clouds are generally always set to black by the absorption colour, which touches on the theory behind the nebula effect. In realistic nebula, the dense parts of the clouds are where light cannot escape at all. This lends to a more accurate nebula effect, as it were. You also might notice that when animating the nebula, previous flickering artifacts have been significantly or completely removed. This is a result of improvements to Eevee's volumetric rendering system, and the fact that the nebula shadows are now controlled by one main directional light. Supporting large starlight is still present, however the shadows are switched off by default to reduce the artifacts even further. For the best results when animating, make sure volumetric shadow samples and volume step settings are set as high as possible, controllable from the quality section of the main panel. To reduce noise, try slightly increasing the render sample settings, although, as with all these settings, increasing their value will impact performance. We hope you find the latest Nebula Generator useful, and if you'd like to post and discuss your work, there is a link to the Nebula Generator Discord support channel in the comments. Written documentation is linked in the description and covers each aspect of the Nebula Generator, along with further hints and tips. If you have any further questions or issues, do not hesitate to get in touch via info at configurate.net. Thanks for listening.